As a simpler example of a moduli space, let's say we want to think about the space of all possible triangles up to similarity. What it means for two triangles to be similar is that you can rotate or scale one into the other. When there's no way to do this, which happens when two triangles don't have the same three angles, we think of them as living in distinct similarity classes. To think about all possible similarity classes, a mathematician may want to work with some geometric space where each point in that space corresponds to one of these similarity classes. How might you do this? Well, for any triangle, by rescaling it, you can assume that the longest side has a length of 1. And now label the next longest side, x, and the shortest side, y. In this way, every similarity class corresponds to a unique pair of numbers, x and y. So we can think of each one as being a point in the xy coordinate plane. However, there are many values of x and y that don't correspond to a triangle. For one thing, both x and y have to be between 0 and 1, limiting us to this box. And by definition, x is at least as big as y, limiting us further to the lower right region of that box. One other constraint is that x plus y has to be bigger than 1, meaning that the combined lengths of the two shorter sides of that triangle cannot be smaller than the longest side. This is known as the triangle inequality, and it limits us further to the right region of our box. But now, every point in this region corresponds to a unique similarity class of triangles, with smooth changes to the point resulting in smooth changes to the corresponding triangle. We would call this region the moduli space for all triangles up to similarity. The value is that it gives an alternate way to think about various types of triangles. If it's a right triangle, for example, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that x squared plus y squared equals 1, which, in our picture, means that it lives somewhere on this circular arc with a radius of 1. Everything above that arc corresponds to an acute triangle, where all the angles are less than 90 degrees. And everything below it corresponds to an obtuse triangle, where one of the angles is bigger than 90 degrees. By comparing the areas, a moduli space like this lets mathematicians meaningfully talk about questions like what is the probability that a randomly chosen triangle is obtuse, which would otherwise be vague and ill-defined.